and welcome to another My Little Podcast. We are your hosts. I am Bree. I'm here with my mother, Shelly. Hello. My father, Gary. Hello. My husband, Jared. Hi. And my brother, Bryson. Hello. Today, we're going to be chit-chatting to you about the most recent weekly peak, but before we get into that, a quick word from our sponsor, the My Little Homestead t-shirt shop. Mom and dad actually showed up matching today. Generally, they don't plan this, but did you plan this? No. We did. I asked. <laughs> I said no when he said yes. <laughs> <laughs> Apparently, I didn't plan it, but you did. I did. <laughs> and I asked permission. She said yes. I said, "Can we be Twinkies today?" <laughs> That's she right. You yes. did. I did. That's true. So, mom and dad, they're in the My Little Homestead older logo. That Jared is in a skid steer one, and Skidded. Bryson's got his got a little Whoa. freedom. Whoa. All right. Well, this week we worked on the workshop out there. Super exciting. We got a little bit more. Uh, we made a change in the rocks that we're doing. We we went to the to the gray and then back to the more the red. We worked on the foundation of that back. Oh, that's right. Yeah, Sorry. we worked on foundation this week from last week's podcast. Home Sweet Trailer says, "Do you have any plans to do some water catchment off the workshop roof?" I sure hope so. Uh, yes, we do. I, I I've been both me and mom have been telling dad. He is not allowed to put any shingles on that roof. It That's has to be solid metal because <laughs> water collection off of shingles is awful. It has to be metal. Chris here says, for the roof, have you ever thought about some green roof, like a live roof, where you can grow flowers and food? It's interesting you mentioned that because that would kind of be an interesting idea for my roof. I just thought about yeah, that. We have that considered that, that before, too. There. Yeah, but have, you know, like those <laughs> hobbit houses, they're so cute. They, they got the grass adorable. growing over and then do, the little door. Do we do them, like, next to a tree or something, like, where it does get the semi I don't know, like, but it'd be that's so my cool. curious, is, like, I'd love that idea. I yeah, see. yeah out, out here, you'd almost need a roof for your roof. Yeah, another. <laughs> <laughs> I love the living roof idea. Yes, Genuinely, roof. I do. I think it's awesome. Yeah. A comment from Patreon. What's up, Lizzie says here, it was a difficult decision to take off the rocks you don't like, but you will be happier, I am sure. Do you have a plan B for the reject rocks? Yes, <laughs> we do have a plan B and a C and a D and an E and an F. I know, um, we're, we're, yeah, we, we are do. just yeah, like getting all kinds of ideas of what to do. The most fun idea we have is to line our natural swimming pool with that. That would be super cool to do. Mm-hmm. I had not pictured that. I kind of pictured a pond lining. So picturing it with rock is, is way cool. Super cool. We also want to do like little streams in the backyard that flow through the backyard and the lining for those streams would work great as that rock as well i think Mm -hmm. so yeah because we have the aquaponics on Mm -hmm. one side of the courtyard and the natural swimming pool uh, eventually that's not there yet but that will be on the other side and then we wanted to kind of cycle the water from the pond to the aquaponics so it's it's moving water Mm-hmm. to admit i went online to look at some mm-hmm. like rock sculptures and rock work and um very inspiring um swirls and and little characters things people have done with rocks and um just really have my mind thinking a hundred mm-hmm. different directions with rocks yeah speaking of the sculptures we could do the where you cage it with the wire and then yeah the sculptures that's that way one. Yeah. The latest video we did here, we have a comment from Laura Family Homestead. Hi, I have watched your channel for a while and I want to see if I would like to make Hyper Adobe Greenhouse. What do you think? Would it work? Hyper Adobe Greenhouse? I, I yeah. think it would work really mm-hmm. well because it already is insulated so well. I mean, it, I think it would work really well. As long as it had like, you know, the, the glass or something on top to let the light in. We're kind of in a rare situation where where we don't have to add cement to our dirt. Mm-hmm. And you might want to check your area because uh, most people do have to add that cement yeah. to the dirt. Our binder is clay. In and caliche. Damage Inc. They've been around with us here for a bit. Mm-hmm. Uh, bullet. Yeah. Bullet, bullet. <laughs> well, guess what this comes uh-huh. oh. Did Bullet run away and join the circus? Or another YouTube channel? Is he, is he not even in the background of any shots anymore? Did his agent demand more points or higher royalties and get him blacklisted? <laughs> You know, Bullet was probably in because he would have probably dropped his ball in your found dough that you guys were putting in there. That's probably you probably didn't. That's where my tape measure is. (laughs) Probably. Oh. Well, we 
really appreciate you being a part of our family. We want to give a big thank you to our Patreon supporters and actually local supporters. We were we were setting up our locals page and found that we've had a couple folks over there donating for a couple of months. I just want to say thank you. Oh my gosh, you two locals <laughs> and Patreon supporters. If you'd like to give a buck or two a month, uh, all that really helps out around here. The links will be down in the description for that. We look forward to hanging out with you on Wednesday for another gaming stream. And of course, on Friday for another weekly peek. Bye. Bye.